early 2002, I uh, was laying there and I went, fuck, river surfing. I would rent rental cars and fucking just bomb the weekend, drive to the lock saw, drive to lunch counter, driving all over Oregon searching for waves and uh, that just started turning into waves all around there and then waves around the world and 2000, into 2004 I got picked up by American Wave Machines. They're the one, they paid for me to go to the Zambezi River. Um, to go to Montreal. I went through a shitload of sponsors, Rip Curl, Body Glove, all kinds. I had my my stick, you know, hey, it's Elijah Mack from the World River Surfing Association, president and founder, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, I got all kinds of media. I got GQ Magazine, fucking PBS, dude, you name it, the, the, the newspapers, the local weekly. The WRSA was a website that just had the photos and video of the waves I've been to. Um, descriptions of those and then a basic the basic message of the future of and these are like quotes that I had on the website the future of surfing is near and it's nowhere near the ocean and and essentially my message was hey there's these fucking waves all over the world you can just go search for them and ride them nobody's doing it this is a time when you can really be a pioneer which is a fucking cliche word now in the sport because all everybody's a fucking pioneer in river surfing but you can go out and be one of the first fucking dozen, literally handful of human beings that are doing this outside of the crew in Munich and the people uh, in Jackson Hole. When I first started river surfing, everybody talked shit on it. I mean, there was very few people who supported it. Uh, the, 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 the supporters that I did have were some kayakers, not all of them, a lot of kayakers were fucking dickheads too, but I was, it was just looked at as this novelty and I was a clown. I'm proud of a lot of things in my life, but one thing I'm really proud of is that I, is that I, I'm, I'm pretty good at recognizing my mistakes and owning them and, and then, then you gotta move forward. And I know me and a number of other people, surfing is the only thing that kept me alive, period. It was the only thing that I had pride in, that I excelled at, that I wanted to go do and because I wanted to surf, I kept my body healthy. But by the time I was 25, which really there's, other than weed, there was no drugs in my life. Um, and that had a lot to do with surfing. And even alcohol, a lot of times I wouldn't drink because I knew the next morning the waves were gonna be good. Yeah, fuck it. River surfing's good. <laughs> no matter what, with the culture, no matter who's doing what, nobody can, and surfing's good. You remove all the, sh all the stuff around it and just the, the act of going surfing, of putting yourself in that environment, whether it be in a river, or an ocean, I mean, even a wave machine, right? Anywhere where you're riding a wave of water on a, on a surfboard or on your belly or, or however you want to ride it, um, it's not bad. It is a good thing.